My name is Mike Nichols, and I'm the project manager for the Priest Rapids Hatchery Renovation. I'm Todd Pearson, I'm a fishery scientist with Grant County PUD. We're putting in a new adult holding pond, new incubation building, new early rearing raceways, and we're modifying the uh, final rearing rearing ponds uh, in order to go ahead and raise another 2.1 million fish here at our facility. Well, it's a major overhaul of the hatchery that we have here right now. Originally, again, this hatchery was built as part of a, a spawning channel. Folks wanted the fish to come back and come back naturally and spawn in this spawning channel, but it didn't work very well, and so they modified the spawning channel to now be more of a, of a hatchery. So it wasn't a perfect fit. Now, because of the new uh, hatchery reform efforts, as well as safety requirements and fish health issues, we're doing a major retrofit to be able to address all of those kinds of concerns. We're about 25% right now. Uh, we're working in several different locations, adult holding, raceways which are over there. Um, we'll, we will begin to go ahead and work on the incubation building just off in this area here. In a couple of weeks, we'll start excavating for the foundation. Uh, so things are coming along. Um, total project cost is about $16 million. Uh, major milestones, we need to have these adult holding ponds ready by next summer so they can accept adults in September of next year. This hatchery is intended to supplement the natural population. So that's one of the, the issues today with regards to hatchery reform. Hatcheries have been reformed so that they can be uh, more effective at conserving the natural populations and not impacting them. The primary role of this hatchery is to be able to provide fish for harvest, but in providing fish for harvest, you also don't want to impact the natural population. The natural population that spawns below Priest Rapids Dam is one of the most important populations in the Columbia Basin. These fish are caught all the way uh, up, into, up into Alaska, and they're very important to fisheries uh, throughout the Northwest. It's probably one of the largest Chinook population in the continental United States. Why do you have the coolest job at Grant PUD? <laughs> I have the coolest job at Grant PUD because I get to solve very, very interesting problems. Uh, when you have some kind of a conflict related to uh, a business aspect as well as an environment, environmental aspect, it provides for some very interesting problem solving. I love to do it. I also get days like today where I get to go out in the field and and uh, do a little bit of science. So I am really fortunate to get to work with the people that I get to work with as well as the topics that I get to work on.